Hello again, YouTube. Um, I know I kind of said that I would wear makeup this time round, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm not a makeup kind of girl. Sorry about that, husband of mine. Um, okay, so I actually only uploaded week one of my fat loss phase um, like five days ago, but I uploaded it a few days after I filmed it. So I'm technically on week two and have been for the last few days. So I thought I would do um, an update on where I'm at week two. And then next week it'll be week three and it will be a lot more linear and up to date and in sync. So um, week two, so everybody will know that I started off at 140 pounds week one. Now, I should have said this then and I will just say it now. I don't count the decimals. Um, weighing in is <laughs> incredibly circumstantial and erratic on a good week. Um, anybody who has my book, The Fat Loss Blitz, will know I talk about it at length in there. I say multiple times over and over and over again that um, how stressed you are mentally, how stressed you are physically, so what kind of training you've been doing. Have you been doing HIIT? Have you been doing steady state? Have you been doing weightlifting? Have you been doing body resistance? Have you been doing yoga? Um, your water intake, your uh, sodium intake, uh, what food you're choosing to eat, uh, your menstrual cycle, the list goes on and on and on and on. Your sleep, all of that affects the weighing scales, all of it, right? So it's already a little bit of a reach to go on uh, body weight. However, um, it's how I, how I always do it. I also have calipers, obviously I'm a personal trainer, so I'm very used to taking skin fold measurements and doing my body fat. Um, and I think other than ultrasound, calipers are the most accurate way to do that. But I'm also a lazy little shit and I cannot be bothered to do that every week. Um, so I do do it, but I'm, I'm not, you know, overly pedantic about taking those measurements. So what I'm trying to say is where I started out going with that sentence is that I don't uh, articulate the decimal points. So I think when I started, you know, I weighed myself every day in the lead up to week one. Um, and some days I was 140.1, some days I was 140, some days I was 140.3. Um, so I just round it either down or up. Started out at 140. Bob's your uncle. So, right, initially the first thing that happened day one, and this wasn't a surprise at all, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Day one of my week one fat loss phase, I dropped to 139. And I stayed there for a couple of days. And the reason why that will have happened is because A, I'm eating less food. So food volume does actually count on the scales. Um, and B, I'm eating less food via decreased carbohydrates. Gl carbohydrates are st stored in the muscle is glycogen. Glycogen pulls on water. So what will happen is if you decrease carbohydrates, even just by a really small amount, which is what I did, I decreased them by 20 grams, which is 80 calories, you can see a little drop in water. So... I wasn't surprised when I saw the 139 and I don't really count that as fat loss, especially considering that you're not gonna lose fat in 24 hours. <laughs> Unfortunately for us, it doesn't work like that. God, imagine if it did. Um, so that wasn't a surprise. But then over the next couple of days, I went down to like 138, 137, and I was thinking, oh, that's good. Like, you know, losing like three pounds week one is just a nice like, ah, we're off, off to the races. But no, again, unsurprisingly and unexpected, well, and very expectedly, um, I shot right back up to 139, which is where I've been for the last couple of days. So I am taking a weekly average of 139 LBs. And for the reason I've mentioned, I do not count that as any real progress. So week two, I've pretty much done the exact same thing. Um, so I've increased my cardio from 20 minutes a day post weightlifting to 30 minutes a day post weightlifting. Now, again, there are some people out there, especially bodybuilders, especially people who lift weights, who are weirdly anti-cardio. I do not fall in that bracket. I love weightlifting. It's why I fell in love with training and it's why I ended up doing what I do now. But I am really big believer and fan in cardio for the reasons that I said in my last video. So I won't go into it again. Um, but essentially 30 minutes a day for me is pretty normal. It's not, it's not low, but it's also not 
high in any way. Um, so I'm kind of like, eh, that's cool. I'll just add another 10 minutes. And also like I have a smidge of OCD and you know, I like keeping things linear. Um, hence why I don't count the decimal points and stuff like that. I just, I like to keep things um, easy to understand, easy to follow, easy to remember, just keep it easy. So we've gone up, it's, you know, week two, added another 10 minutes. Right. A lot of questions I got after the first video of what kind of cardio do you do? What kind of cardio do you do? So um, I, right now, I'm doing exclusively steady state, low intensity, moderate intensity cardio. Um, and the reason for that is because I'm right at the beginning, I'm not feeling any pressure to, you know, throw myself into HIIT training. Um, and also HIIT is a really good tool to have in the box of, um, eh, you're not really seeing much progress. Maybe you need to switch up the intensity of your cardio. Now, listen, miss is really good fat burning cardio. Well, first of all, all cardio is calorie burning, which is great. Listen, miss uh, specifically burns body fat for fuel. So it's great in that aspect. However, when you start to struggle with progress, um, it usually means you're having metabolic struggles. Um, so, that's when it's a really good time to throw in some HIT because obviously the epoch effects of HIT are going to ramp up your metabolism. So it's always a good tool to keep in your box and I will be implementing it at some point, but not in the beginning. Um, so, oh, and also I get asked a lot what machines I use for cardio. So at the moment, again, I'm using the Stairmaster. Um, I love the Stairmaster. I find it really challenging. I don't hold on when I do it, and I suggest that you don't either. Um, if you need to slow it down, slow it down, but do not hold on to those handles. Don't you do it. Um, I love it. It's my favorite cardio machine. However, another thing I will say is that muscle memory and the body is adaptive. So the longer that you're doing the same kind of cardio for, the more that your body learns that those mechanisms that you're having to do right and your muscle memory kind of gets set and actually you can have a detrimental effect on your calorie um, expenditure doing cardio if you stick to the same cardio all the fucking time it's a really good idea to switch it up every few weeks and do something different so i'm on the stairs now and the stairs will probably stay like my predominant um steady state cardio option but there will come a point where i will have to switch it up at least for a little bit um so that's something to bear in mind um i have also again keeping it super linear and super easy done the exact same calorie decrease week two that i did week one so i knocked off 20 grams of carbohydrates which is 80 calories total which meant that i went from 190 grams of carbohydrates week one knocked off 20 grams to 170 grams of carbohydrates week two which saw an 80 calorie decrease in my overall daily calories which is 1870 kcals total i also weirdly somebody commented under my instagram post about it like you do mean daily don't you Okay, well, there's a couple of things I just want to say here. Number one, if you do choose to track your calories on a weekly basis instead of a daily basis, that's totally fine. So if you have like a bit of a slip up one day or even an intentional like, actually, I want to go out tonight and eat my favorite burger on my date. So I'm going to do it. Fine. Bear in mind, this is all about a weekly average. So if you do that, that's fine. You just have to kind of deduct maybe ever so slightly throughout the rest of the week to make up for that calorie input that weekly input that you're taking um or you know you could do something like fast for you know i don't know the next evening i wouldn't recommend fasting morning through afternoon because it's really bad for your circadian rhythm throws the whole thing off whack if you're gonna fast do it afternoon through evening night um so for example my husband um did a fast yesterday because he had a day off um so what he wanted to do was um 
eat dinner and then not eat again till dinner the next night, just a 24 hour fast. And I said, no, 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 <laughs> that's not what we're doing. You're gonna wake up, you're gonna have a big breakfast, wake your body up, get your circadian rhythm going, and then you stop eating until 24 hours later the next morning. Um, much, much, much more appropriate in terms of your circadian rhythm and your body clock. Um, so yeah, you could do that. You could do the, you know, have a big blah, evening, whatever, wake up the next morning, have your breakfast and then fast. And that would make up for it. Um, or as I said, you could do like a, a very slight shaving off every day for the following few days and make up for it because it's all about a weekly average. So, yeah, that's where we are now. 30 minutes a day, six days a week. Um, 170 grams of carbohydrates, uh, which has seen a uh, 20 gram drop, an 80 calorie drop, putting me on 1,870 daily. Uh, currently week two, 139 LBs. And if in week three, I don't see anything that makes me feel confident that I'm heading in the right direction, I'm gonna do it again. However, I will not be <laughs> deducting numbers like this every week. Um, I don't want to drill myself into a horrible death hole in the ground early doors. Um, but I know, uh, I know that for me, getting fat loss going initially is always a little bit of a push. Um, so I, you know, I'll take it kind of week by week, but I'm gonna. I'm going to keep making changes until I get that fat loss to start going. And then cardio increases and calorie decreases like this will not be happening simultaneously weekly at all. Um, they might not happen at all every week um, or they might happen separately. But initially I need to get myself to a place where I am on track. Otherwise it's going to be really bad for my kind of adherence and my feelings of oh the effort I'm putting in I'm getting back out um and also I don't have a load of time to play with here like I need to be in shape by the end of May beginning of June so gotta get the fat loss going um okay so that's week two uh next week I'll do week three and we'll go from there so I hope that helped and I filmed a few workout sessions um which I'll upload as well in the coming days all right thanks guys